Hey guys, this is Cognitive Pit. Um, I just got finished recording this exact video. So I'm going to speed through it and record it again because the files got corrupted and I'll have to do it again. Yeah! Now a lot of people have been requesting um, a video telling you guys about graphs and how graphs work and how to read them for flipping. <sighs> okay, here's that video. Um, here's my personal opinion about graphs. They are practically worthless. Um, I'll speed through this really quick. People think that merchanting is all about looking at graphs and predicting when it'll go up and down. Okay, yeah, long-term merchanting is on a bad item. But um, basically, the only items that you're actually able to long-term merchant safely are discontinued items because they will only go up. They absolutely only go up. <laughs> there's, there's, there's just no drops. They just only go up. It's, it's insane how good they are. And these are not straight prices, by the way. Keep in mind, um, they're usually worth about double that. Anything discontinued, the Grand Exchange messes up how much they're worth. So those are the things you want to get your hands on. All right. So let me bust right into this. God, I just did this. This is crazy. All right, the Abyssal Whip. Um, now is a terrible time to flip it because it's dropping. You're going to have a hell of a time selling it. Because everyone's trying to sell it for the lowest price possible because they just want to get rid of them because they're dropping. They don't want to lose any more money than they already have. So this is an item I would look at the graph and say, oh, I, I don't want to flip this. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> um, you don't want to buy anything ever that is dropping. That's just the way it works. A good time to merchant the Abyssal Whip would be right here. Right in between these. You're probably thinking, but but Cognitive Pit, it's going down, Cognitive Pit. Um, why would I buy it there? It's going down. Well, don't worry. You settle yourself in, little boy and girl. Listen. Things going down happens all the time. Things just go down. Let's look at the Staff of Light real quick. Oh. Oh look, it's it's going down naturally. Does it look like it's dropping? I mean, sure, I guess technically it's dropping, but it's not it's not crashing. That's that's what you want to look at. You don't want something to be crashing. Dropping is natural. When new items come out, things drop. Things can crash when new items come out, but things are guaranteed to drop. Um when people get a drop, like let's say the staff of light drops for somebody. Well, that's one more Staff of Light in the economy, and uh, once it gets bought, one more person has a Staff of Light. So next time a Staff of Light drops, that's one less person who needs one. So the demand is going down, and the amount in the economy is going up, so it has to drop. There's no possible way it wouldn't drop. Again, with the discontinued items, the amount in the uh, economy is going nowhere because they're discontinued. You can't get them anymore. Um, if anything, they're going down, because as soon as someone buys one, they don't get let go of it. And when someone wants one, well, they need to get a new one. <laughs> so, um, they go up forever and ever, like I said. So yeah, things dropping is perfectly natural. It doesn't mean you can't flip it. Long-term merching, don't do it. My personal opinion is long-term merching is a bad idea. You can pretty much, you can make tons of money, or you can lose all your money. I mean, it's whatever you want to do, if you want to take that risk. Um, so yeah, perfect, perfect to flip. There's nothing wrong with flipping these. Uh, it's going down, but, I mean, everything goes down. Uh, a flip is fast, so this, this drop really doesn't do anything. Guthens. This will prove that flipping is fine with, a, with an item going down. I get about 60k to 100k per Guthens set. So per flip of 10 items, which is the max you can buy at a time, that's 600k to 1 mil. Now, I've, I've already used this item up. They're probably down to 40k, which is below what I like to use. It's just, it's just not good enough. It's just not high enough. The margin's just not... It's kind of icky. But for you guys just trying to start out and make some quick cash, this, it's perfect. 40k? That's 400k per flip if you have the money to buy 10. And look, it's going down. But a Staff of Light... The graph looks almost similar past this weird spike here. They, they look almost similar. I mean, they're both going down around an even rate, so why does this have a 60k margin 
And why does this have maybe a 10k margin now? Well, that's because the graph doesn't show you the margins. And it's as simple as that. The graph won't show you what a good item to flip is. You have to experiment with yourself. And I don't mean that in a really weird way. I mean experiment the items for yourself. So the graph will show you what you can potentially flip, what isn't going to uh, screw you out of all your money. This won't screw you out of all your money. This won't screw you out of your money. This will screw you out of your money. But it won't show you that margin that you need. It won't show you that you should buy a thousand of them. It just doesn't show you that. I'm going to show you another item, uh, a Grimy Ranar. Now, besides this drop, how are you going to lose money with this? You're not. You're not going to lose money with this. You don't have to worry about buying, I don't know, here, and then it, ugh, it just crashes all the way down. It's terrible. But that happens with stuff like the Abyssal Whip. That can happen with the Staff of Light. That can happen with Barrows. And as you can see, it has happened with, the, with Herbs, but... That's so unlikely. Some update caused that. Some update caused that. So when you see items like this that are relatively straight, you know they are safe. You know that you're not going to lose money. And, I mean, I guess you could hold on to them for a while and still be able to flip them um, for a profit, possibly. Possibly not, though. So that's a good thing to take and, and consider, I suppose, with a graph. Um... Oh, there's one other thing I want to show you. I got to type in. Didn't have it up. Water rune. Now you're probably thinking, things that crash a lot aren't really that good to get. Well, here's a water rune. We all know that water runes are perfect to flip. You're going to make that 25 to 50k easily. No problem. You have no doubt in your mind that you are not going to make that money. You know you will make your money. Like, there is absolutely no issue with making that money somebody messaged me on Skype I'm sure you can see but look it crashed and and now it's going up it looks like a perfect item to like long-term merch or something but we all know that's not true so what's up with that well basically a graph doesn't show you what to merch it just doesn't now you can see in here that it's dropping but it's not dropping like other items. See these see these curves? Or rather the lack of curves, how it just sort of moves over sometimes. There's not really a there's not really a defined I mean like it drops here, but then it, it moves over and it moves over. Well that move over time is the time you're gonna be flipping. You're not gonna be flipping over this huge amount of time. Because a flip is fast. You can't lose your money that way. But when something is seriously just spike dropping down, not so good. Uh, there's one last thing. Let me check the time. Perfect. This is like half the time it was taking me the last video. Just going to to speed through it. Um, the whip vine just came out. Um, a long-term mercher might say, wow, they're going up. They're going up. Let's buy tons of them. They're going up. But then they crash. Because, you know, it's currently out of date. Please check back in a few minutes. All right, fantastic. Um, but it crashes because it's an update item. You guys should know never to buy an update item when it comes out. It needs to stabilize first. If it doesn't stabilize, well, you're just wasting your money because it's going to crash. Because when there's only one in the world, it's worth so much money. There's only one in the world! <laughs> but then more start dropping and we realize that maybe they drop every 10 kills we just didn't know it at the time and whoop they go straight down and, and you don't know it yet so it's super important that you don't take graphs to heart don't look at this and say oh it's going up you need to look at the big picture and know you have to have intuition you have to have common sense and say this item is going to crash because i know the economy i know runescape you need to know that so you need to experience things on your own um, and that's all I have to say about graphs they can show you something terrible something terrible to flip but um, really just experiment for yourself and you'll be able to make tons of money flipping it's not hard at all 
I get so many messages a day. What should I flip? Should I flip this? All you have to do is try it, guys. Try out flipping, and you'll make billions. No problem if you just try it out and explore for yourself. Now, um, guys, you should subscribe. I think I already said this, but you should subscribe so you get the little edge ahead of everybody else. Um, really, you want to get ahead of people, and the best way to do that is sub subscribe. Whoa! Having trouble with words. But really, <laughs> subscribing is a great idea because when this video comes out, you're going to be able to make your money quickly instead of being last in line and not making quite as much money. And now I'm never going to give you an item you could lose money on. Never give you an item you could lose money on. If you're flipping properly, you will be guaranteed to make money with the items I give you. So um, feel free to private message me if you want uh, a particular item, if you want to see if it's okay or not. I'm going to tell you to experiment for yourself. But as long as you're subscribed, you're watching my videos, I don't see a problem with giving you an item every now and then if you want to make some quick cash. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Uh, if you guys need to see a different kind of video, let me know. Let me know what kind of videos you want to do. I've been doing Slayer videos, you know, just little stuff. Nothing, nothing too crazy here. But um, let me know if there's any kind of crazy video you want to see. Uh, if you want me to go more in depth with this graph thing, um... Screw you. No, I'm just kidding. But but you know how I feel about graphs already. I don't think you should be shouldn't be harping on this whole graph thing. It's really not that big of a deal. So yeah, um but let me know if you'd like to see it and if there's any specific details I didn't cover that you need or something. Just let me know, guys. Thanks for watching.